Okay, everyone, welcome to the recording. Um, we're going to be playing through the beginning parts. I'm not going to do. I'm going to do it quickly. There, I have an ending in mind. I am going to do my best to rationalize things. Blah 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 blah. I've said a lot of stuff on the stream, but we're just going to play. We're just going to have fun. We're going to go through the demo content as quickly as possible. It's not going to be as much voice acting. So if you want a lot of the stuff, go watch the demo streams. Okay, so game has had a rocky start because if you go to the language menu, let's just go to the language menu. If you set it to these languages, uh, oh, the menu works now. No, the, the Russian one is still all kinds of fucked up, and the Spanish one still shows English. Rocky start. You gave Goodbye Volcano High so much shit for this, and you botched the landing. I'm just gonna say, buddies. I'm just gonna say, that's game development. What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna be mean about it. Like, I, I say you can, you can preempt the stuff, but, you know, I know computers, and computers are dicks. You can't help yourself. The Russian honestly don't... I hate it when people make bad decisions because it looks better on paper. Blech. More Ben and Mia content. Or Maya. Maya the bee. I have seen the demo content. I like how they can detect that. They probably pick up on like a little little file somewhere. It's always cute. Do I want to skip the... Do I skip the new... No, we're not skipping the new content. We start off with our... With my boy... My boy! I don't like him, actually. He's not my boy. Anon is my boy. Anon is my boy! I will hear nothing else. I'm gonna turn on my volume a little bit on the recording. I don't want... I'm more important, actually. No. I just, I just don't know. It feels like it always goes wrong. September 4th. There. Oh, it's this year. Uh, sorry, I gotta check up on my calendar. September 4th would, in fact... No. Most schools I go to are last week of August slash first week of September, so it should have already started. Inko, you're a week late. You weren't. You, not the first day, you bingus. Although I wouldn't know. I don't go to. I don't go to high school. <laughs> How would I know when they start? I don't have kids. Ah, uh, full Caldera Bluffs. We're in the same place as ever, but we're in the nice part of town this time. Ah, uh, the temperate weathers of the Midwest. Summer sleeves are in. Summer sleeves are in style this year. I would love to see Inko sitting there, like kind of wiggling his, his shoulders, like thinking he's all the hot shit. That jacket, that jacket's aroma block better be right. This swear thing is killing me. <laughs> uh, well, it is probably going to get chillier because it's September, but remember, net survival guide, September is still summer. Uh, we got the Amber Crombie. Amber as in from dinosaurs, you know, the Amber stuff where they find the mosquitoes. And Flint. Mm, mwah, such a good pun. Lovely. Starting off strong. <laughs> Starting off so strong. I love how it's jacket's aroma. Like, this person smells jackets. Mm, this jacket smells of money because it's a sponsor. <laughs> he's going to make an impression. Except he doesn't. His impression is that he's human and everything else is secondary. Ah, we got the classic gang here. Look at this, guys. The Look at this. Let's put the overlay away. So, uh, uh, the gang is all... The, 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 the gang is all here. Can I point out, I really love that this guy has like a little light on his feet. Look at that, he has a little light on his feet. The game feels louder. I'm gonna bump up the volume a bit on my recording. I don't know if that's good or bad. But he has light on his feet, look, because there's light down there. There's light on his feet. Ain't that just great. Internally, these guys on the right are called the Rebels or something. Again, I've pointed this out before, these seats are not made for uh, dinosaurs. Fair enough if they're made in human cities, but still. First day of a new school. Ordinarily, I'd be glued to my phone, shitposting on some Perusian forum on woodcutting. But there's just too much on his mind. His folks' sit requires him to move frequently. Little time to fit in. Of course, the whole Rolling Stone thing. Just promises to keep in touch, and they peter off, but it's kind of his fault. Poor old Inko does not know how to handle it. But it's going to start, it's going to change, starting today. He's going to senior year. It's his very last chance to prepare for the world ahead. Lucky for him, he's uh, figured out a couple of things on how to make it a little easier on himself. Oh, wow. Snoot game. Cut CGs, Nate. He feels around in his backpack for his DSLR. That's a cool kind of camera. Not the latest. I think there's a new type. But yeah, he's got one. It's a little banged up. I, I sure hope that it doesn't get used as a prop to throw at someone's head. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I would love that, actually. Like, come on, you can't have a character who has a brick in his bag and not use it as a prop to throw at someone's head. Are they gonna throw it at Ferris? Because you need something big to take care of Ferris. 
Maya seems a bit too tough for a, 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 a camera to hurt her like that. But 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 Ferris is big, but I don't think he's like rough. You know, he doesn't have that toughness to him. He just has the, the natural girth. St. Hammond's High School is known for its artist curriculum. In other words, he'll be surrounded by people who will encourage his... First off, we have some problems. How about we, how about we turn this down a bit? I'm going to turn this down a bit. Sorry for fiddling with the dials a lot, but that's just how it goes. There is no music. So, um, I, I like that he wants to be surrounded by his own people. And then he gets really annoyed when they're very good. And he's like, I can't be as good as these people. Like, come on, Inko, what were you expecting? You've been in this gig long enough. You should know how this works. You should know about your artist insecurities and imposter syndrome, buddy. Even if it's a bit of a right away. He's willing to make concessions for this. He wants this really badly. He had hoped his parents could drive him there today. But by the time they was up, they were already gone for work. It's like they don't even care. It's like they don't even want to see their boy go to work. Throw it through a worm and it be a bifocano on Naomi. You know, I think she'd appreciate the free camera. No, no, no. Protect-coon from, 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 from Call Me Fang would be like, Oh man, cool. Free camera. <laughs> Everyone else would probably be like, Ow! But Protect-coon probably wouldn't give a shit anyway. That's, that's not his deal. He, do he doesn't linger on stuff like that for long. From experiences he has. Like, he, he's... He's not worse is the thing. Like... Uh, his background is such that, like, he wouldn't care if he gets hit with a camera, because odds are you don't throw it hard enough for him to, to, to consider it assault anymore. <laughs> That's just life. I've been working on Trico's background, too. No big deal. He just likes the hustle. He does like the hustle and bustle of public transportation. No, he likes being among people. He's going to have to use to it anyway, because your pants can't bring you every day, dude. Even I, when I was 18, had to go on my own. Come on, dude. Ah, his mind wanders to memories of previous schools. In fact, it's not uncommon for here uh, for kids to go on their bikes to high school, like when they start high school. You just you go on a bike. It's entirely tenable. People complain about 50-minute cities, but you know what? It's very easy for your goddamn kids, you dumbasses. Your kids will love it. They don't need a goddamn car, so they can just start right at age 13. And then you realize they've left you because you're a shit parent. Whoops! Turns out your castle needed a moat for a reason. Trying to flesh out character still keeping them in the can is harder than making my own. Yeah. That's just the problem, ain't it? That's just the problem, ain't it? I mean, if you're dealing with Kabaka High, I get the benefit that the characters are barely existent. But in Snoot Game and stuff, you've got a lot more concrete reactions and stuff to work off of. He thinks about the previous schools. Not good memories, because he doesn't tell anything about them. They all sucked, exactly. He needs to make the most of the situation he's in, not get all sad. He's got to do something like, um... I love, I love, uh, I love the asterisks. They're still great. Those asterisks are like the selling point. I won't get stabbed. Ah, fun fact, when you do the, 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 the demo start, this option does not come up. This is not a significant option. This is just an option for you to feel, what, what would it be like? I mean, the funny part is, like, when he gets off the train, he's in, like, a really rural-esque area, like a pretty suburban area with a lot of trees. Like, yeah, fresh shitty air, bum. <laughs> Tinkus. Like, the outside of his house looks pretty nice, too. Uh, let's just remain seated. We're on a train. Don't make a scene. He's interrupted by the ding of the terminal board. I uh, accidentally hit my scroll wheel. That's what happened. Sorry. Look at this. We got uh, not swastikas for legal reasons. They are not swastikas. Shh. We got Juicy, we got the S, very poorly drawn S. We got Gloopy. It's over, man. Game over, yeah! Okay, this is a lot more urban. This is a lot less fresh shitty air. We got, uh, fuck you, Evelyn. I don't know who Evelyn is, but she fucked up. She fucked up. Don't know what your deal is, Evelyn, but, uh, whoop, that's two middle fingers for you. Game over, yeah! He steps off the metro. Heading out to the station, he follows a few students. Not a human to be seen. Yeah, there's a lot of greenery. A lot of overgrowth stuff. Like, he goes on a stone bridge. Come on, man. Like, in most cities, they put those in, like, underground sewer systems and stuff. They don't leave them out. I, 
I just want to point out that my, my thing on the 50, 50 minute city, the reason I'm saying about it, someone linked me a video that's like someone saying that this is a massive conspiracy. I'm like, I've been living here my life, dude. Like, you, you, are you that attached to your car? Cars suck. But they suck here, I guess. Like, streets are not as pleasant because, you know, they're tiny fucking medieval towns. Gas is expensive, car maintenance is annoying, parking is a problem. Like, cars are just a massive headache out here. Which is why I'll never bother. I'll just walk. Like, it just makes Americans look like giant wusses. But I know why, because a lot of Americans live in these massive areas. Like, they're a mile or a hundred from towns and stuff. I understand. But from my perspective, it just feels weird. <laughs> That's why you have empathy, to live in someone else's shoes. There it is. The school peeks out of it. The street's ahead. Mm -mm. Hello, Inko, says the school. Hello, nurse. It's going to be his home away from home. It's going to be because your parents are never home. So you don't have a home to be away from at another home, buddy. Give him a slap in the back. Did World War II happen in the similar... I think World War II got replaced by the Cthulian event. I think... I think the whole Cthulhu invasion, the Chthonian impact, is probably the replacement for World War II, or adjacent to it, like happened afterwards or something. It must be long enough that there... I, I don't think we ever see any veterans. I've not seen any people who claim to be veterans of that war or conflict. Or of the war before that, so I imagine it's quite old. After all, the new generation seems to have adapted quite well, so there has been some time between it, in order for any of this to really click together and make sense. Uh, for the Trico thing... I've been thinking about shifting the timeline up a lot and making the Great Unification War like 60-ish years ago. And the Great Unification itself, when everything became Pan Pangea, would have been like 50 years ago. So it's the 50th anniversary, because that's cute. That's a cute detail to have in a, in a world, in a setting. So it's young enough that like a lot of people are still salty about it or remember the old times. But also, kind of got their shit kicked in by like 10 years of building up the world out of ashes, because that, that'll put a dent in your racism when like you're sitting and you're broken and the person next to you is like someone you hate. And it's like, oh, God damn, I can't hate this guy. Unlike Final Fantasy 16 or 17, where people are like, the, the bears are bad, and, and we're going to kick him out despite all the freaking... Oh, God, I hate... Lines in the Sand is a goofy quest. It does not understand its own context. Or humanity, really. Scary Dave is back from the shower. I hope didn't miss too much. Don't worry, I said a lot of words, but none of, it, none of them matter. Home away from home. Again, like I said, he doesn't have a home to begin with, you dumbass. There are no... <laughs> uh, Snoop Game was 2021, right? Fuck it, I'm pulling up the files. I'm going in the code, Betty. Click, 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 click. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Anon is three years earlier. Anon was uh, M101 and then 2020. So this will be 2023. Oh, this is at least three years later. If they happen in the same town and everything, this would be a couple of... This will be while Anon is even is in like uh, the college and everything. Lucy might exist, depending on the end... I imagine it's not ending one, because a school shooting that happened three years ago would probably still be in everyone's mind. Unless this is America, in which case no one cares about the school shooting two months down the line. Like, although I guess the towns would still care. Like, just because they happen in the country doesn't mean the individual towns aren't still shocked and rattled. That's a very mean thing of me to say. Sorry. Can we see the goddamn school already? The thing I really want to do with Trico is he's, he's from, A, he's from human land. He's from Lesser Pangea. That's where the humans live. And B, I like the idea that he's like a, an outdoors type. Like he knows everything about guns and like wilderness survival because his mother and, and everything lived in like, I call it a high gas operator. But the idea is that basically she works in mines as nomadic. So he just never sat down anywhere and he just knows how guns work. <laughs> it's like, oh man, that's a Hemingway 45. Did you know that the Hemingway 45 is like a really rough chamber to pull out? They made it a six loader. He just tells all about it. Because, he, he, you know, when you like something, and it's your only way into a conversation, you start talking about it a lot. Like a bingus. It's, it's someplace USA. Once again, I'm handing the opportunity to make something of himself. He's apprehensive but hopeful. Last shot. No going back. You don't get a second senior year unless you suck. First step forwards. Here. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. Aw, oh, yeah. The animation's all fucked up. Aw, oh, yeah. The open gel shader is crapping itself. Fantastic. Don't worry, there's not too many animations. That's uh, the same, but to be fair, it's a fine school. The students mill about the front yard. The school is known for its heavily prioritized art programs. Also, it's rapidly flashing shaders. Just not having a good day today. Ooh, that's a spicy, spicy flashing. 
Over two-thirds of the graduates end up pursuing a career in the arts. Half of them regret what they did. There's still plenty of them made it, right? That's the sixth. That's the second, third. A third. A third, yes. A third. It's also the management's claim to fame with the facade of front dominated by... I like that mural. It's so good. Maybe we launch the game and force shaders and stuff. What do you mean force shaders and stuff? Give me the give me the launch prompt. Because I'm not very smart. You know, Inko's got a good feeling. A few students eyeball him. Whisper. Yeah, but until you're in the school, no one knows that you're here. He knew this jacket would pay off. It's totally not because there are no goddamn humans in a 10 mile radius, you bigus. The front doors are propped open. You can feel the cool breeze inviting him in. That's called air conditioning, Inko. That's called air conditioning. Air cold. You hadn't mentioned this yet, but the school is unique for its student body in that it is 100% dinosaurs, and you just fucked it up, you bingus. You, you fucked it up. You, mo you ruined it. You ruined it. Oh, they're still as cute as ever, and I still love that the logo is, like, hidden behind the text box. Good job there. Yeah. All men are soaring herbivores and otherwise. Look at these beautiful, beautiful people. Webbed hands. Webbed hands sound like a pain in the ass. The skin flaps would annoy me, at least. <laughs> I love that Inko is very accepting of this instead of being like a technicolor nightmare. And there we have him. We got, we got good old Dexter and Mandark having a lovely conversation. I like this lady in the front. She's got that nice athleticism to her. And we got, we got Beats by Dre, probably. Homework. Make up a Beats by Dre dinosaur brand equivalent. Whoa! Is that a human? Human! Whoa!